West, photojournalist. Hey, hello, hi, welcome back to Dead Rising. This is episode three of our Let's Play as we go through day one. We've just cleared our first batch of cases. Well, our first case, I should say. Um, and our next one occurs at six in the morning tomorrow. So we've got some time to kill, along with some zombies. So let's hop to it, shall we? Uh, we've got a side case here, cut from the same cloth. Uh, as you can see, it's in yellow, so it means we're running out of time to take care of it. So like I said in this game, it's all about time management and being in the right place at the right time. So we have, uh, yeah. I'd say a couple of hours to, uh, <laughs> thank you for agreeing with me, Frank. We've got about a couple of hours to get to this place and initiate the case, the side mission, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so let's hop to it, shall we? Uh, more or less remember where everything is, just from the Xbox 360 days. But, uh, I set the arrow anyway because that's important. Uh, when a game tells you where you need to go via arrow, you should always follow it. And we're just gonna whack some zombies along the way. Ha, uh, get it? Because my name is so whack. That was poor, I'm sorry. Lucky I just walked out the door just then. Uh, looks like we gotta go upstairs, so... Let's just take a quick look around the mall. We've got some bookstore over there, we got a toy... Looks like a toy shop over there. Some jewelry. Kids choice clothing. Oops. Some stairs with zombie blood all over it. Uh, purses, not that we could use them. Got sporting goods. What the f Oh, hello. Hey you, you're in my way. Can't you see I'm hard at work? I'm trying to take some pictures here. Are you serious right now? You've got a nice camera there yourself, but you don't know the first thing about photography, do you? He reminds me of the scout from Team Fortress. Sorry about that. You know, I happen to be a pro too. Maybe not as good as you, but... I think you're a professional, huh? Uh-huh. Right, gotcha. Do you really appreciate the word, the weight, the word professional carries? If you don't have the talent, you just can't, you can't just use the word like you own it. Definitely, he's got a gun and everything. Go on. Name's Frank West. Sorry, I got in the way of your shot. I'll just get out of your hair now. Okay, okay, hang on a sec, buddy. Why don't I do you a favor? I'll have a look at your technique and give you some pointers. Don't be shy now, Frankie. Here, I'll even model for you. Show me what you can do and I'll be the judge. Well, you're not exactly model material. What a great idea, huh? Sometimes I think I'm a genius. Let's get started. You're not the greatest model. Oh. Taking photos. We're taking photos. Blah, 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 blah. Obviously, you want to take some uh, dramatic photos rather than just a boring one like that. So the color of the target marker, in marker indicates the genre of the photo being taken. So we've got different categories, as you probably would have noticed by now. So we've got brutality, violent images, drama, emotionally stirring, outtake, humorous images, horror, horrifying images, erotica, R18 pictures. And we got a call. Okay, first I want you to take a picture of me while I show off my photography skills. But not just any picture will do, Frankie. You have to get 500 PP for my image. Alright. Challenge accepted, mate. Oops, not that good. It's not enough for you to just take a photo shot of me photographing stuff. This just isn't good enough. You gotta get 500 PP. There we go. Are you happy now? You did it. Nice job. I look damn good in that shot. Yeah, you know how hard that was? Next, I'll treat you to my signature cool pose. Get 700 PP for my image. Okay, what do you say we change locales? Alright, fine. Whatever you say, Kent. If I said your name in a different accent be pretty rude. Somebody's barricaded a woman's clothing shop in Alfresca Plaza. From the looks of it, two people are hiding inside. Beautiful. Cool. I'll take care of that. Hey, I'm not posing over here for no reason. You gotta time it right, Frankie. Alright, I'll take care of it. Oh, sorry. Whoa! What was that for? Jeez. Yeah, we're taking photos of each other. Like some divas in a bathroom. Nice shot, you did it! Of course, half the credit goes to your model. Yeah, you just kicked me in the face, dickhead. Hmm. Well, it's in focus. And, uh, the composition's okay, I suppose. Uh-huh. Hmm. That ain't half bad. Okay, here comes the next one, Frankie. But first... Feast your eyes on my work. Now this is my most emotionally moving shot. 
Now this is my sexiest shot. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, okay. This is my most violent shot. Check it out. Ugh. Okay, here's the deal, Frankie. You gotta go out there and take even better pictures than the ones I just showed you. You think you can handle that, huh? Yeah. Yeah, thumbs up. Totally could do that. Alright, that kick in the face really screwed with our health. We drink some coffee creamer. And we'll grab some juice for the road. This is such fun, uh, funky music, man. I like how the mall just like treats us like business as usual, like everything's all good. <laughs> no, it's not all good. There's dead people walking around. I mean, like, look at this place. Um, it's a nice fancy mall for like some backwards town. Oh, our bat's gone. 67 hours and 36 minutes until the helicopter arrives. Plenty of time to muck around. Lucky we got a replacement bat. Still got a, a pistol and a Uzi to use. Probably make use of that at some point. Um, but let's rescue these uh, guys actually first. Are we being followed? <laughs> uh, barricade A and B. Let's go. Sun's starting to set. Uh, first day at the mall. What time was it again? It's uh... Half past four, I think. Must be winter, I guess, since it's starting to set so early. I hope I read that right. Half past four. Let's see the zombies. Like, there's just so much room to run around. Like, in a real zombie apocalypse, this is probably what it'd be like. There'd be a lot of zombies for sure, but, you know. You see people in the movies just get grabbed, and you're just like, how? Why? There was like 50 feet between you and the next zombie, like, how the hell did you manage to get grabbed like that, you know? I'd, under I'd understand if it was like a tight corridor or something, but come on. We're gonna circumvent zombie things. There we go, I found a use for the Uzi, clearing out the entrance. It's probably not the most efficient way to use it, you know, since we've got to go for the head and everything. Zombie rule 101. If you haven't read the uh, Max Brooks Zombie Survival Guide, highly recommend you should read that. Same with uh, World War Z. Uh, the movie was good, don't get me wrong, if you've seen the movie, I'm sure you understand, but nothing to do with the book at all. Just thought you should know, since you're watching a zombie series. Whoa. Okay, they're in this little shop here. Just break down the barricade. I feel terrible. Damn, just what I need. Another crazy person harassing me. What do you mean? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's right. He attacks me. Um, I don't know. What am I doing? I forgot how to drop my weapon. <laughs> I want to just use fists. I don't want to beat him up with the bat. Oh, God. See, look. We're already letting the zombies in. This is exactly what happens in the movies. Someone breaks the barricade, all the zombies come in. We're basically that woman from the beginning looking for a dog. Right, just leave me alone. Come, follow me. Shit, just leave me alone, you son of a bitch. You leave me alone, you started this. Oh god, I didn't mean to do this. Well, that worked out. Bert. Knock it off, you little punk. I'm not here for a fight. Just listen to me. Oh, God. You win. Do whatever you want. Talk to me. Kill me. Whatever. Uh, maybe I'll just talk to you. Listen to me. I came here to help you guys. I can take you someplace safe. Shit, why the hell didn't you just say that first? Get me the hell out of here already. <sighs> Sorry. Come on, Bert. I want to go too. Aaron joined. Bert joined. Cool. PP bonus. Level up. You skill. Nice what we got. The zombie ride skill. Oh, I love this skill. Zombie ride allows us to jump on top of zombies just like you saw there. Sort of. 
behind the tree. Uh, guys? Come on! Oh, Dead Rising 2 and 3 really spoiled me. Aaron, can you please come with us? Oh. Guys, come on. So I remember when I told you about Carlito and how his AI was kind of whack? This is it in action when we need it to work. Come on. Aaron! Ah! Oh. Thank you. Finally did something useful. Okay, let's go. Come on. Jesus. Such a mission. Grabbing these guys. What do you want? I found a, a woman in the jewelry shop in Alfresca Plaza, which we just came from. Great. She's moving around an awful lot. Looks like she's looking for somebody. To be honest, um, I could rescue her, but I've got plenty of time, and I've got my hands full just carrying these two around. Come on, let's go. Aaron, where are you? <laughs> We've got to cross this park. Tell me you're coming with me. Yeah, cool. Let's go. What are we doing here? I'm trying to get you out. Only if you follow me. Come on. Aaron! <laughs> I'm gonna try not to complain too much of this let's play. I mean, like, I brought it on myself to replay this damn game. Because I love it so much. But that's one of the things I love. I hate, I should say, is escorting these numbskulls. This is the HD version, for goodness sake. <laughs> they had no time to improve the AI. Just upscale the graphics. Okay, well, thankfully we're in Leisure Park, so we have plenty of space. But like I said, in movies where they just get grabbed even though the zombies were 50 feet away, these are the kind of people that are in those movies. We've just seen it firsthand, how frustrating it is when you're part of that group. And you're just dealing with idiots. See, look! There's perfectly good space to run around that zombie. Nope, we'll just run right beside him, tap him on the shoulder and get it. Keep moving. Uh, we're running out of bullets for our gun. I think we can give these guys some health. Okay. Oh yeah, cool. And we'll give them okay. my bat. Since it's breaking bat. anyway. Okay. I know you got my bat. I think you meant to say, I got your back. Oh cool, we got another bat. <laughs> Boom. Boop. Quickly clear this area out. Five bullets. Four, three, two, one, zero. Where are you guys? Are you here with me? Cool, cool, cool. Let's go. Just don't want to waste any more time with these freaks. Let's just get out of here. Boom. 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 This game is so therapeutic sometimes when you're not escorting survivors. Just like. The fact that you can beat on, like, so many undead zombies. It's just... amazing. Especially when you're level 50 and you're basically, like, a god against <laughs> these imbeciles. Uh, and you get, like, powerful weapons and whatever. Uh, I'm not gonna be doing any cheesy strats in this game as much as I'd love to, like, make this game easy for me. Cool, so we just learned about queens, capturing the queen. 
There is a zombie playing host to a queen parasite in every large gathering of zombies. Defeat that zombie and get your hands on the queen to use it as an item. Um, queens, as we saw there, is like little buzzards. Ooh, look at that. Um, and if you kill them, or if you capture them, you can use them basically as like a zombie grenade. Where uh, you throw it and all zombies in the immediate area die. So here's one that has a queen beside it. And capture it like this. Okay, I was going to use it on the elevator, but there's nothing here. Uh, I'll show it in action in some time. Probably when we go back down. Let's just rescue these guys and get them out of my hair. We've suffered enough with these lunatics. Cool. We made it. Phew, this has been a hell of a ride, but I feel safe now. Believe it or not, I feel safe too. Escort complete. 40,000 PP. I think we got to level up out of that. Yes, we did. Yeah. Stock, we can carry more stuff. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, see, we've got lots. So let's throw the queen at them. Look at that. Disgusting. A lifesaver in a pinch, for sure. Um, before I was, as I was saying before that cutscene, um, uh, I'm not going to be using any cheesy strats in this game. Like, there's a couple of cheesy strats you could do. Um, I could unlock a, a powerful weapon that kills like zombies in one shot and everything like that, uh, and bosses in like three. But uh, didn't go for that. Uh, there's also another strat where uh, there's a set of chainsaws you can use and they basically become unbreakable uh, if you wield certain bonus books well books are the, like special bonuses you can add to your weapons and they basically don't break for the whole game and they kill zombies in one shot and everything like that they're just so overpowered uh wouldn't be fun to watch wouldn't be fun to play especially if we're going from like a level one playthrough you know uh let's keep going Let's probably rescue that woman in Alfresca Plaza now. Actually, you know what? This is a perfect time to stop this playthrough. We've got the convicts on the loose! My most hated enemy of this game! Uh, we'll deal with them in the next episode. Take care, everyone. Bye! I'm Frank West, photojournalist. You looking to get yourself eaten alive by zombies? This, my friend, is hell.